In this video, we will focus on how to determine the number of solutions for systems of linear equations and classify them as consistent or inconsistent as well as dependent or independent. We will begin with a review of the key concept and then we will work on some examples. I will show you two methods. The first involves solving the system of equations, while the second does not require solving. Systems of linear equations can have one solution, infinitely many solutions or no solution. When you solve systems of linear equations using the substitution or elimination method, for the case of one solution, you get one value for x and one value for y, like x equals 2 and y equals 5. This means that there is only one ordered pair that makes both equations true at the same time. For the case of infinitely many solutions, you end up with a number equal to itself, like 3 equals 3, which is always true. This indicates that there are countless ordered pairs that make both equations true at the same time. For the case of no solution, you end up with numbers that are not equal to each other, like 0 equals 9, which is never true. It is a contradiction. This implies that there is no ordered pair that can make both equations true at the same time. If you use the graphical method to solve the equations, for the case of one solution, you find that the lines of the two equations intersect at a point and the point of intersection is the solution to the system. Notice that because the lines intersect, they have different slopes. For the case of infinitely many solutions, you find that the lines of the two equations are exactly the same. They are right on top of each other. This means that any point on the lines is a solution to the system because the lines are identical. Notice that since the lines are the same, they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. For the case of no solution, you find that the lines of the two equations are parallel. They will never intersect. This indicates that there is no point that can make both equations true at the same time. Notice that since the lines are parallel, they have the same slope but different y-intercepts. Now let's talk about consistency and dependency. A system of equations can be classified as consistent or inconsistent. If the system has at least one solution, it is called a consistent system. Therefore, systems of equations with one solution or infinitely many solutions are consistent systems. However, if the system has no solution, it is an inconsistent system. Graphically speaking, systems of equations whose graphs are intersecting lines or the same lines are consistent systems, while systems of equations whose graphs are parallel lines are inconsistent systems. A system of equations can also be classified as dependent or independent. If all the solutions of one equation are also solutions of the other equation, they are called dependent equations. Therefore, systems of equations with infinitely many solutions are dependent. However, if the two equations in the system have their own set of solutions, they are called independent equations. Therefore, systems of equations with one solution or no solution are independent. Graphically speaking, systems of equations whose graphs are the same lines are dependent while systems of equations whose graphs are intersecting or parallel lines are independent. Now, let's look at some examples to practice what we've learned. Solve the given systems of equations and then classify them as consistent or inconsistent and as dependent or independent. To solve the systems, you can use the graphical, substitution or elimination method. However, the graphical method can be a bit time-consuming, so unless you are specifically asked to use it, I suggest using either the substitution or the elimination method. In this example, both equations are given in standard form, and the most efficient method in such cases is the elimination method. To solve a system of linear equations using the elimination method, we add the equations together to eliminate one variable with opposite coefficients. In this case, the y variable has opposite coefficients, and when we add these two equations, y is eliminated. Now, Let's add the other terms. 5x plus 3x equals 8x and 10 plus 6 equals 16. If you divide both sides of the equation by 8, you get x equals 2. The next step is to find the value of y by substituting this value of x into one of the original equations. Let's substitute it into the first equation. 5 times 2 is 10. Then, subtract 10 from both sides of the equation. Cancel out these and 10 minus 10 equals 0. Next, divide both sides by 2, and you get y equals 0. 
notice that we find a unique value for both x and y. So, what do you think the system is? Is it consistent or inconsistent? Is it dependent or independent? We said earlier that when we solve a system of equations and get one value for x and one value for y, then the system has one solution. And whenever a system of equations has one solution, it is consistent and independent. Therefore, this system of equations has one solution, which is 2, 0, so it is consistent and independent. If you use a graphical method to solve this system of equations, you will notice that the lines intersect, and the intersection point is the solution to the system. This confirms that the system has one solution and is consistent and independent. By the way, if you want to revise or learn in depth how to solve systems of equations using graphical substitution and elimination methods, please check the links in the description below. Now, let's proceed to the next example. In this example, y is isolated in the first equation, and the most efficient method in such cases is the substitution method. So, substitute this expression directly into the second equation for y. Now, solve this equation for x. Start by distributing 4. Multiplying 4 by negative 5 over 4x gives us negative 5x because the 4s cancel each other out. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Then, combine like terms. Adding these gives us 0, so we have negative 20 equals negative 20, which is always true. So, what does this mean? We said that when we solve a system of equations and end up with a number equal to itself, then the system has infinitely many solutions. And whenever a system of equations has infinitely many solutions, it is consistent and dependent. Therefore, this system of equations has infinitely many solutions, so it is consistent and dependent. If you use a graphical method to solve this system of equations, you will notice that the lines are the same, and any point on the line satisfies both equations. This confirms that the system has infinitely many solutions and is consistent and dependent. Now, let's move on to the next example. Please feel free to pause the video and give it a try. As you can see, y is already isolated in the second equation, so you can use the substitution method. Substitute this expression directly into the first equation for y. Now, to solve this equation, start by distributing the negative sign, which is essentially negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2x is positive 2x. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Then, combine like terms. This adds up to 0. So, we have negative 2 equals 6, which is a contradiction. It is a false statement. What do you think this indicates? We said that when we solve a system of equations and end up with numbers that are not equal to each other, then the system has no solution. And whenever a system of equations has no solution, it is inconsistent and independent. Therefore, this system of equations has no solution, so it is inconsistent and independent. If you use a graphical method to solve this system of equations, you will notice that the lines are parallel, and no point on the line satisfies both equations simultaneously. This confirms that the system has no solution and is inconsistent and independent. In the previous examples, you were first asked to solve the system of equations and then classify them. But sometimes, you might be asked just to determine the number of solutions and classify them. In such cases, you do not really have to solve the equations. Instead, you only need to compare their slopes and y-intercepts. For this example, both equations are given in slope-intercept form, making it easier to identify their slopes and y-intercepts. The first equation has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 7. The second equation has a slope of negative 2 fifths and a y-intercept of 6. Notice that the slopes of the two equations are different. What does this indicate? If the equations have different slopes, it implies that the system has one solution, and it is consistent and independent. Therefore, this system of equations has one solution, so it is consistent and independent. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you found this video helpful so far. In our next example, the first equation is given in standard form, so the first step is to rewrite it in slope-intercept form. To do that, add 2x to both sides of the equation. Cancel out these, 
and you get y equals 2x minus 3. Now, both equations are in slope-intercept form. As you can see, the equations are the same, and they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. What do you think this implies? If the equations have the same slope and the same y-intercept, it means that the system has infinitely many solutions and it is consistent and dependent. Therefore, this system of equations has infinitely many solutions, so it is consistent and dependent. Now, it is your turn. Please pause the video and give it a try. First, you need to rewrite the second equation in slope-intercept form. To do this, subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. Cancel out these, and you will have y equals negative 5x plus 1. Now both equations are in slope-intercept form. For the first equation, the slope is negative 5. What do you think is the y-intercept? Well, y equals negative 5x is the same as y equals negative 5x plus 0, right? So, the y-intercept for the first equation is 0. Or you can also find the y-intercept by substituting 0 for x in the equation. For the second equation, the slope is negative 5, and the y-intercept is 1. Notice that the slopes of the two equations are the same, but their y-intercepts are different. What does this indicate? If the equations have the same slope, but different y-intercepts, it means that the system has no solution, and it is inconsistent and independent. Therefore, this system of equations has no solution, so it is inconsistent and independent. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.